So this is the power injector uh, model is uh, Mark 7, right? Midrad, as you can see here, the Midrad, right? And uh, this is the latest power injector. What is the good quality in this injector? That uh, it can be used for both purposes. It can either be used for cardiac purpose as well as the vascular purpose. So in other injectors, it can only be used for the vascular purpose. But here, no, it can also be used for the cardiac purpose because of the modes inside and I will show you how to use it. So first of all, there is a power button, as you can see, main power button, yeah. right? So we'll turn it on from here. And then there is another power button from here. That's the main supply, and here we can also turn it on. So just press it, it will be turned on. Right, so once it's turned on, it will give you the message like this, that uh, they are just giving you safety instructions, all the things, and the warning, then just pray continue. Once you continue, right then the first thing you need to do is all done from here the machine actually so first of all you need to put the setup how to install the tubing it will tell you how to install so there are see multiple guidelines here so we'll have to follow the, uh, the instruction actually so see this is for let's suppose this so what is it saying retract the piston so once you press it the piston already here it will go inside down all the way it will be retracted right then the second step is the install syringe so let's install syringe so let's see he see there is a knob here so make sure that it goes inside after retracting the piston so once you retract the piston just see this line should be all the way parallel to this otherwise suppose if i give you like this it will not lock see it will not lock so the best thing is just to keep it away the other side right in the parallel position and then go like this so it, there should be a click sound click sound means now it's properly adjusted so once the syringe is installed then let's go here again see there is a third closed or drop front and then the other one is the engage the plunger so once i'm not going to engage the plunger because uh, this is the reuse syringe actually and the contrast is already filled in the syringe so if i start engage plunger it will take out contrast <laughs> all the contrast will be splashed out so now we are done with the first instruction let's go for the second instruction this is for the multi actually there are two sets in this machine it comes with two sets actually disposables one comes with the multi-patient, this is called multi-patient. Multi-patient means that this can be used for the multi-patient, not for one. It can be used for multiple times at a time. For Let's suppose I have done one procedure today and there is another procedure today. After that procedure, I can utilize it. So that's why this is called multi-patient. But there is another set which is also disposable, that is single patient. Why? Because it's a single use. So we once I use for a patient, for the second patient I have to change it. Here as you can see, these are the tubings. Now I will show you how to install it. So we'll go for the instruction. So first of all, it's saying to install the saline tubing. Let's get a saline. This is the saline tubing actually. So in the set, in the multi-set, it comes two sort of tubings. One is saline tubing, one is the contrast tubing. So I will show you first how to install the saline tubing as per the instruction. Then I will show you how to install the contrast tubing. So see there is a chamber, so you need to fill the chamber, right? So before you fill the chamber, you need to install it in a proper way. See, first go down, there's a click sound. Some people install it like, just, just put it like this and it's not installed properly. So meanwhile, every time the power injector will give you the error. So the best thing to install the tubing in properly because this is the initial step. So see from down, there's a click sound. Once there's a click sound, see there is a gap. As you can see, there's a space. So this side should go in, not the other side. See, it will not go in. So there's a proper port here, see? So for this down, you need to press this button. It will open. And now then install the tubing inside properly. Press this. So just now it's properly installed. We install the saline tubing. Now install the contrast tubing. And contrast tubing, we'll have, use a contrast here. So now here's a contrast here. So we'll install, there is another tubing in the set, as I told you, in the multi-set act. So same, similarly here, as we did with the saline tubing, this is a chamber. So the chamber should go, see, from the, from the bottom first, is a click sound. Then the, see, there is a port here again, the same as the saline tubing then there's a click sound. So once then you are done with the chambers, so then you need to fill it manually. Once you fill the chambers manually, then come here please. Right, see, this way should go to the syringe. This side should go towards the patient side. 
I will not install anything. I will go for here connection. See, if you can focus here, there is a three-way stopcock position. Now my three-way stopcock position is in the other way and it is straight here. So what I need to do, I can manually irritate and then I will install according to this because this injector will not work if it is not installed properly. After that, with the same okay. tubing here, now it's installed here. Now let's talk about the contrast syringe tubing. See here, as you can see, once you attach it, so try to rotate it to lock. Make it tighten, remove the air from here. So if it is loose, it will take air actually. So if you can see here, uh, we installed the saline, we installed the uh, contrast tubing line, then rotate head upright. See, it's asking you to rotate it upright because we will remove the air right? and then fill the syringe. Right? For filling the syringe, the first step we will do like this. Fill the syringe. So this syringe is around 150 ml. So you select 150, right? As this syringe is already filled, that's so why I'm not going to fill it, but I'm just showing you how to do it. So once you press fill, it will start taking contrast from here. So when it goes to 150, it will automatically uh, remove the air to adjust itself. Then the next step is the burge. Burge means to remove the air, to make it air free. How to do the burge? Let's see. For the purge, what we will do, for we need to be ready for the purge. Make sure you put something down because it will jet. Let's press burge. You will see here. So make sure when you are burging, make sure it's disconnected from the patient. After birth, you need to press this complete to get it ready. Now, next is single patient tubing. See? So we will follow the instruction. You remove all the dust caps. There are the caps and connect the spare saline. That's uh, the tubing. It's asking you to connect it to this here, this port. All the, there are two tubings actually here. I will show you now. So one is for saline, one is for the contrast. So in the, that tubing, it has two ports. Right, one for uh, saline, one for the contrast. We need to go now more down and that's showing you the instruction for the safety actually precaution that what you need to do. After you complete it, we already filled the syringe, we already did the birch, then press OK. Once you press OK now, now you are ready. So net, you need to select the protocols. As we mentioned in the beginning, that this injector can be used for both purposes, for cardiac coronary coronary purpose right as well as vascular. the vascular purpose so for the vascular if you go for the vascular you see there's a fixed flow a fixed flow contrast injection actually with the high pressure as we are using for the dsa and vascular angiogram but if you go let's suppose if you go to the cardiac if you go to the variable if it is variable that can be used for the coronary minimal parameters actually so see the flow rate is one otherwise in the vascular angiogram it's not like this flow rate we need more flow rate and volume is one cc you can either inject one cc or you can change the uh, see it's showing you one to 150 ml but we need to keep it like was if i want to total inject the five cc in the coronary so press enter it's five cc of total volume flow rate it in each second how many ml you want to inject so it depends upon you because i want to inject in one second one ml so i will just put enter like this and pressure make sure for the coronary the most important thing is the psi why because in the coronary if you go go more you're like high pressure you can rupture the coronaries like see in the coronary catheter i'm mentioning here the psi so it's 1200 psi I will not go for 1200 psi but the precaution is just to go with the low pressure so that avoid any kind of complications let's suppose i set it to now it's okay. This is done for the coronary. But if you go for the vascular, it should be 500, 600. It should be higher for the vascular. Once you do it, right, then it is asking you to arm, right, for the variables. This mode is for the coronary. If you go for vascular mode, it's called fixed flow here. So in the fixed flow, as you can see, it will inject according to the uh, your desired parameter. So if let's suppose fixed flow, I can change it. Suppose I want to give 5 ml per second. And I want to inject total of 20 ml of volume, right? And uh, for pressure, as I told you, we can go with a high pressure, right? And it's about injection. Okay, one thing I want to you know here. In this machine, a beauty is, as you can see here down, there's a port. This port is for the connection with the cable. Why it's designed here? Just for the auto-injection purpose. As you can see, this is the port, actually. 
which is integrated with the machine, with the X-ray system. So what does it do if I just connect it like this? So you should properly connect it. Once you connect it, what's the purpose of this? The purpose of this is this ejector is now auto-connected with the X-ray. So the good thing that this injector can be controlled by two ways either auto injection or you can control it with the hand controller which can be installed here there is a hand controller port as you can see so you will attach the hand controller here in the sterile way uh, you can control it with your hand injection so it's same like a hand injection but it's with controlled by hand controller or it can be controlled by the auto injection so auto injection is what as i mentioned earlier that you need to connect it first here the connection once you connect the connection, now this machine is integrated with the X-ray system. So how it will work? It will not work with the fluoro. It will work with the cine. I mean, if you are doing the angio, uh, cine, DSA or any angiogram, so it will work when you press the cine pedal, so it will start injecting that. So for that, actually this is the reason that I wanted to show you this parameter. So rise, it's up to you, X-ray delay. So it's asking you to go for ejector delay, you can uh, manipulate from here or if I want to keep a delay of one second, let's suppose. So this injector will delay for one second after the X-ray. So if first the X-ray will start, then it will delay for one second, then it will start injection as per your parameter. As you can see, the disposable item for this injector is injector syringe, as you can see. The hand controller, as I was saying, that you can control it with the hand controller injection as well. This button is for the contrast injection and this one for the saline flush. And this is the port where we will connect it here. This is the multi-patient set as I mentioned earlier, right? This is total sterile. I just wanted to show you the packaging that how it comes. As you can see here, this has been installed already now. This is single patient set. So it's a long way. It goes all the way sterile. This is non-sterile. That's why it's multi-patient. But this is totally sterile. So it should be dealt in a sterile way. So what you, how you will attach it? Once you open it to the scrub nurse, right, in a sterile way. So the scrub nurse will give you these two ports. So this one port will go here, male to female. So make sure it's male to female actually. So one port to the contrast, one port to the saline. This whole tubing will go towards the patient. This port is used for the uh, pressure monitoring as well. We are not using the arterial pressure, so we'll just put a yellow stop cock here to avoid any air and this one as you can see this one will be flushed according to the manifold like as we are doing dealing with the manifold but one thing in this machine that it doesn't have the pullback system that's why there is a port so with the three-way stop cock once you attach it you need to purge it actually after you make it air free then when you attach it to the patient but make sure that it's you are not injecting anything so you can open the three-way stop cock from the patient and then you can do the aspiration to avoid air or bubbles and that this machine doesn't have the pullback system otherwise in the previous uh, method mark 5 pullback system you can manually pull back but here in this machine no you cannot it's an automatic injector that's why they designed this way in a three-way port so that they can you can aspire it manually from here once you are aspirating then you are ready to go so you will come here again after you install all the tubing as I mentioned earlier you will enter again you will select your desired mode let's suppose if I'm going for the vascular angiogram then it's a fixed flow fixed flow as I mentioned earlier in the, this video if you are going for the coronary you have to change it it's a variable variable flow means it's okay for the coronary because it will automatically see the flow rate will be low and then you can also reduce the pressure so make sure once you are injecting anything double check the parameters with the doctor to confirm. Thank you so much for watching.